Today is time to play. Let's whoop crap data. The instinct trial. It's important to test our instincts, right? Suppose you saw an iron. You know that it might be hot. It might not be. But your instinct says it could be hot. So you wouldn't grab it. Similarly, with crap data, you need an instinct. We have to always remember cleansing data is brutal. The consequences are real. Crap data is heartless. We're going to look at some situations. We're not going to solve them. I will leave the workbook with the solutions in it for you to download. But we want to look at this. Say, OK, what is crap data doing and what am I going to need to whoop it? Question one. We've got these data ranges. We see Wednesday training, Friday training. Wednesday, there's a separate list saying did not attend. For Friday, people who attended, they have an X next to their name. People who did not attend, they don't have an X. So here's the question. What get and transform feature will we need to get a list of the people who attended neither Wednesday nor Friday? Now, I want to make one point here. We need a list that will have Teresa Bass on it because Teresa Bass is listed for did not attend on Wednesday. She does not have an X for Friday. We don't want Jerry Marsh because Jerry Marsh was scheduled for Wednesday but did not attend. Jerry Marsh was not scheduled for Friday, so we don't care about him. So which get and transform feature will we need to get a list of the people who attended neither Wednesday nor Friday. Will we need aggregate, an inner join, group by, or pivot? Computer G, what is the answer? An inner join. And notice how the data is set up. We've got three separate data ranges here. And we would like to know who is on the did not attend for Wednesday. And on Friday, we would need to filter out the people who have an X by their names so that we are left with the people we want. And then we look to see who is on both lists. Question two. We have a stack of businesses, their ratings and the type of business they are. Purple Fork has a 3.5 rating and it is a restaurant. Scroll down. Scoop It has a 5 rating and it's an ice cream shop. We would like three columns, the business name, the rating, the type of business. Which get and transform feature will we need so that we can sort these businesses by the rating? An anti-join, split column by delimiter, modulo, group by. Computer G, what is the answer? Modulo. Whenever the issue of unstacking data comes up, your instinct should say modulo automatically. Question three. You got to think about this one. Here we have a list of item codes, item types, and quantities. Scroll down. We got quite a bit here. We've got 101 entries. Now notice we have hobby items, food items, kitchenware, etc. We would like to separate this list into two lists, food items, non-food items. And we will be adding more data to this list afterward. So we need something that's automated. The question, in order to separate this data set into two data sets, food items and non-food items, which 
get and transform feature will we need? Append, unpivot, pivot don't aggregate, reference a query. Computer G, the answer. Reference a query. And I'm gonna leave you a link to my video on referencing a query. Question four. Here we have locations, people, weeks, and the hours that each person worked at a location. You can see that Evan worked four hours downtown during week three. We can scroll down and see more so we can see everything. Here's the question. In order to have a location column, name column, week number column, and an hours worked column, which get and transform feature will be needed? Group by location, unpivot other columns, pivot don't aggregate, replace values. Computer G, the answer. Yes, we'll have to unpivot other columns. Question five. In order to sort people by the total hours that they worked, which steps might we need and in order? Unpivot, filter, sort, duplicate column. Filter, unpivot, fill up, transpose. Filter, fill down, group by, unpivot. Or, fill up, filter, unpivot, group by. Computer G, the answer. We would fill up in order to fill in that location column. We'd then filter to get rid of those summary rows. Unpivot so that we could get the hours all in one column and the weeks in one column. And then group by. For what we're looking for, let's look at Jimmy. We would want to see his 20 hours that he worked at Third Avenue not four fives, so we would group by. If you got four or five right, yes. Thank you, you are a warrior. You are helping to keep this world's data clean and end misery. If you got two or three right, okay, stick with it. Please stick with it, pay attention, Develop your instincts. Keep at it. Keep getting exposed to more and more crap data. Don't just look at it to, to just win, but look at it as a learning experience constantly, every time. Be out there seeing what's going on. If you got zero or one right, it shows that you have the heart to stick with this this long. But you got to really do some soul searching because this is a tough sport so if you got zero or one right get in touch with somebody who got five right and see if you can come live with them for six months but when you get there don't eat up all the people's food and and be difficult all right see what you can learn from them Ask them to expose you to more and more crap data to develop your instinct because that's what's going to get you through. That's it for this episode of Let's Whoop Crap Data. And always remember, cleansing data is brutal. The consequences are real. And crap data is heartless.